Uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Yuan Lin Zhang from Texas Tech. Uh, my, my talk is about uh, framework integrating STEM and uh, computing. So the goal, of course, everybody here is to integrate the learning of computing and the STEM and beyond in K2-12. And what are the expectations and the constraints on this integration? So we hope it's, uh, there's ease of design development of teaching and the learning materials, ease of integration with the existing uh, teaching standards, uh, the materials should be age appropriate, and uh, we, we want the duration to be short for short-term interventions to coherent long-term uh, interaction uh, interventions across K to 12. And the topics we want to to be from a single topic of a single subject to multiple topics of a uh, subject to um, topics of all STEM and beyond the subjects in K to 12. So and so forth. There are many expectations. The motivation here is: is there a principled, unified, unified way to help uh, integrate the learning of computing and STEM and beyond? In fact, in K to 12. So let's look at some examples from the standard test of Texas. Um, basically, uh, the, the key thing here is really it's a chemistry problem. The key are the entities here and their relations: protons, neutrons, electrons, and numbers. Let's look at another problem, the ecology. So again, here we care about entities and their relationships. Another example for physics. So we care about the role of its mass and with acceleration and with the net force on this arrow. So again, here are the entities and the relations. In fact, you can find a lot of problems there of this nature. So a key observation is this a significant portion of STEM involves rather clear knowledge and rather clear logical reasoning there. And what computing brings in, computing forces or helps to represent the knowledge explicitly to make the reasoning more explicit. How to catch the benefits of computing? Logic programming. So here's the framework. Uh, the central task really uh, uh, at the core of the framework is to build a computer model for a problem in the subject using logic programming. The rationale is logic programming forces the model to focus on the domain knowledge, not programming language. And uh, the, the, the logic programming uh, representation of the knowledge is quite natural. Okay, so here is an example. So here is the domain knowledge we used to solve one of the earlier problems. The atomic number of an atom is the number of protons of the atom. So that's the knowledge we want students to know this. We want them to be able to write it. Here is the logical representation. We read it. Uh, the atomic number of element E is A if the protein number of the element E is N. That's why I see the LP representation is very natural to this knowledge. So again, even better, we have this uh, logic programming methodology to help the modelers to build models. And uh, certainly, we also have a methodology for developing integration curriculum, take a problem from the subject, and develop computer models using this logic uh, programming methodology. So our STEM plus SAP project is really to study the feasibility of this framework. And we, we, it's new, so we can report some preliminary results on students and the teachers. So, so for the students, they are able to really build models for periodic tables uh, in chemistry and motions in physics. Uh, and it's pretty acceptable to uh, students from sixth grader to eighth graders. And for teachers, they really like the idea of making knowledge and reason explicit. Uh, in fact, make the integration explicit as emphasized by Heidi in her um, keynote speak this morning. And uh, they are also able to build models using LP. They feel very, very comfortable to integrate the new topics, not the one we discussed, into their teaching. And they also feel that they know every element in the model they are working on. So, summary, we propose a framework to try to, to help to integrate uh, uh, computing and uh, uh, STEM learning and the teaching. So our uh, initial study shows that in a short intervention, students can really build models on this framework. And our experience on developing curriculum materials and uh, interaction with the teachers shows that it has a good potential for uh, long-term, uh, coherent, multi-subject uh, interventions across you know, this K-12. Uh, thank you.